So, you've acquired an Atari 2600. Maybe you wanted to get into retro gaming, or maybe you were just snooping around Grandma's house and stumbled across one. Whatever the reason being, how do you hook this up to a modern HDTV? First things first, you're going to need to power the thing. This is a Atari 2600 AC power adapter. You can get these for pretty cheap online if you don't have one. This is an American one. And that's the plug-in for it. You can also get this one at Radio Shack. It's basically the same thing, it's just an off-brand. And it has the same plug-in. If you do go the off-brand route, though, make sure you get the correct voltages and also make sure that you get the correct adapter for the other end. It should be the same size as any headphone jack. As for video, the Atari 2600 uses a standard RCA cable. Doesn't matter what color they are, they all work the same. Mine plugs in within the system. Some models have it on the outside. Now, you can't just plug the RCA cable into the back of your TV's video input. You need to get this little adapter. You can get it at Radio Shack for like $3. Ask for a female RCA to male coax adapter. And it simply plugs into the RCA cable like this. And that's basically it. Setting it up is pretty easy. First, you want to plug in the power adapter. Then, you want to take the RCA cable with the little adapter on it. To the back of your TV, you should see a cable slash antenna plug-in. And you'll just want to twist it on in there. And on the TV side of things, you're going to set your input to TV or cable, and then switch it to channel 3 or 4. Your Atari might be set to channel 4. Then you just want to turn it on and see if it works. Now, if that didn't work or you don't have the correct input, you're going to need a VCR. You can get these for pretty cheap, anywhere from like 10 to $30. I got mine for 15 bucks at a thrift store. Again, setup is pretty easy. You just want to twist the RCA cable plus adapter into the cable slash TV in, and then the take some RCA cables to the RCA out, and plug it into the appropriate input on the back of your TV. Again, the color of the RCA cable doesn't matter. These just happen to be the ones I had on spare. And on the TV side, make sure you switch it to the whatever input you plugged it into. And make sure your VCR is on and set to channel 3 or 4, whatever your Atari set to. Then turn it on. And lastly, controllers. You got a few different choices with them. You got the standard joystick, the paddles, and even this keypad thing. You can also use a Sega Genesis controller, which I prefer over everything else. Now that you have everything set up and working, you can start enjoying the classics. Such like Pac-Man, or Asteroids, and Super Breakout, and even basic programming.
get to it and have fun.